Alright you guys, uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning into this video. I am so excited that you are here. I am actually walking Kaya. Anyways, I am so excited to share with you why I am so excited. So basically, it's, I don't know if you've ever felt like this, but I just came from vacation, so I've been eating like everything. Every time I go on vacation, I eat anything I want, basically. Anything in my sight. So anyways, not like I like gained too much or anything. It's nothing about that, but I feel like I need a fresh new start with my diet. Um, my body just going back into training because I did go to the gym but not as frequently as I would you know like to so it's not only like a body workout but a mental I like shared this with other people so if any of you guys want to jump on the wagon you are more than welcome to I'm committing myself for three months no drinking workout every other day and the other days that you don't work out i'll be reading and journaling i'll be reading the bible the reason why i wanted to add in the bible um, was because yeah you can exercise your body as much as you want but if you don't exercise your spiritual life and work at your salvation you'll find yourself in a sticky situation or you'll find yourself that you've distanced yourself from God. I am there right now. Like, I just feel like, you know, I haven't been reading the Bible. Can't barely see Kaya. Kaya! Kaya! Hi! Hi, cutie! Look at her run! Look at her! Hi, Kaita! Is that you? Is that you? <gasps> Hi, precious! She is just so excited to be around the water. This is actually the first time she's actually gone into the water. I love her. She's so happy all the time. Yeah, so I'm like there right there right now where there's I'm obviously not giving myself a guilt trip because you know God wants us to willingly worship him and want to be in a relationship with him. So it's not like I'm giving myself a guilt trip. I just really want to deepen my relationship with God and I feel that God has put a desire in me to pursue him more. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to be reading my Bible every other morning and then working out every other morning and at the same time I'm gonna be eating the best that I can possibly be and then in the evenings instead of watching Netflix TV all the time oh my goodness look at her we will be um, basically reading I want to make it a goal to read at least like for me six books a year that's like really a big goal for me because I'm not a big reader just wanted to share with you guys what is going to start tomorrow Good morning everyone it is a Wednesday and I know for a lot of you guys I know you might be asking like weren't you gonna start on Monday well uh, things happen I couldn't sleep on Sunday and then uh, Tuesday I had to be at work um, kind of early today is a Wednesday it is my day off and so since I didn't work out on Monday and didn't do my reading on Tuesday I'm just gonna start my day off today with doing both of them. I know if you've seen my other videos, you know that I love to journal and it's just one of those things that no one sees my journals. I don't think no one will ever see my journals, maybe my kids, um, but it's just one of those things that it's very therapeutic and it's very relaxing and it's a way for me to communicate my feelings to God. So. Um, I'm going to start off by a reading the word, then I just reflect on the word, and I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I've done. You know, it's just, I like it to be colorful, pretty. Sometimes I'll draw like an outline, basically, of what I've read. Uh, so yeah, just, you know, a little bit of everything. And yeah. So anyway, so that is that and then it's my journal time where I can actually express my feelings to God of what I'm feeling, what I'm hopeful for, and all my prayer requests. So anyway, so that's what I'm going to do this morning. 
Um, and maybe at the very end I can kind of share what I got for my rating today. All right, so let's get started. Romance 6, you could start at 1 and just go through on the whole thing, but it just really puts it into perspective. Yes, you are under grace, but if you were also baptized, you basically died to your sin. Here it explains it. So it starts off by saying, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Certainly not. How shall we, who died to sin, live any longer in it? Or do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him through the baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the death by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. So the same way that Jesus was risen from the dead, we also have risen and have a new life in Christ. So that's why we're called born, born again Christians, right? Because we're born again in the spirit. And so if Jesus' spirit is in us, if the Holy Spirit's in us, then why do we not act as if we have it, you know? And we give so easily to our flesh and sin. It's just like, I don't think we fully like grasp that Jesus spirit is in us and living in us. And therefore we have the power and Jesus has given us authority over um, the evil one. And so we can resist it. We can, we're born again. We're not the same. What used to hold us down doesn't anymore and so the good news is that jesus died for us but not only that that he has restored us and he comes to save and heal he didn't come just to save to give you salvation and leave you as you are like everyone that jesus encountered you know he touched them he healed them he it's like he's healing us from our sins he's healing us from things that have affected us in the past like he doesn't want to see us the way we are he loves us for who we are he loves us no matter what but he loves us too much to leave us exactly how we are so therefore his holy spirit is the one that does do the transformation um so which is kind of like a nice ease you know knowing that you don't have to do anything that you just have to let it go and give it to god and let him transform you let him transform your mind and heart um because no matter how much we try to physically be good you know if our hearts and minds are not transformed we're easily going to go back into our pattern so it's like really changing our minds to be more christ-like Anyways, so that is going to be the end of this clip.
am walking home done with my workout. That was a pretty intense like workout and it's been a while actually it's almost been like a week since I've been back from vacation and I've been just kind of a little too lazy so I'm definitely feeling it in my legs they are hurting I'm just gonna go home and get some grub with um with my husband so yeah that's that's that I'm so exhausted